गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर एट द आउटसेट आई मे मैंशन दैट गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट इन ए पोजिशन टू एक्सेप्ट दिस रेजोल्यूशन आई कैन नॉट ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू द एजम्पन विच इज कंटेंड इन दिस रेजोल्यूशन द एजम्पन इज दैट देर इज शॉर्टेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल लेबर इन द कंट्री सर वी हैव हैड इंक्वायरीज कंडक्टेड विथ रिगार्ड टू दिस मैटर देयर हैज बीन द एग्रीकल्चरल लेबर इंक्वायरी कंडक्टेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लेबर इन द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नाइन्टी वन एंड देयर हैव बीन द इंक्वायरीज कंडक्टेड अंडर द ऑस्पिस ऑफ द प्लानिंग कमीशन ऑल्सो एंड आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू टायर द हाउस विथ द फिगर्स कंटेंड इन द लेबर इंक्वायरी कमिटी रिपोर्ट एंड ऑल्सो इन द चैप्टर ऑन एग्रीकल्चरल वर्कर्स विच इज कंटेंड इन द सेवेंथ फाइव ईयर प्लान सफाइस इट टू से दैट द कंक्लूजन अराइव्ड एट बाय द प्लानिंग कमीशन इज दैट अबाउट थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ रूरल फैमिलीज आर एग्रीकल्चरल लेबरर्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्लानिंग कमीशन दिस वास्ट नंबर प्रजेंट्स ए वेरी सीरियस प्रॉब्लम इट इज ऑल्सो द कंक्लूजन ऑफ द प्लानिंग कमीशन दैट the present agricultural production in the country could be maintained with about 75% of the number of workers now engaged in it sir it is true as has been stated by my friend that there may be certain pockets in different parts of the country where there may be shortage of agricultural labor but taking an overall view of the position in our country the problem really is that it is not one of shortage of agricultural labor but one of unemployment and underemployment and that is why sir so many steps have been suggested by the planning commission such as expansion of work opportunities within the rural economy especially through intensive development of village and small scale industries and also adoption of a measure of redistribution of land and provision of educational facilities and concessions to raise their social status and enable agricultural labor to develop greater confidence initiative and ability to avail themselves of all economic opportunities there are also suggestions of the planning commission which require us to improve the living conditions of the agricultural laborers sir with regard to the point that there are certain areas in which there is excess of agricultural labor and certain areas where there is real shortage i have to say that there are plans which have been adopted then sir a point has been raised by the mover that in certain peak seasons there is real difficulty in finding agricultural labor i may state that there is some difficulty experienced during harvest time and the weeding season when there will be the outbreak of monsoon when replanting of seedlings will have to be done but the situation is not such as to warrant the appointment of a committee to go into this question at all 
I would say, sir, had it not been for those circumstances existing in certain peak periods when agricultural labor is in a position really to dictate terms, it is horrible to conceive of their lot in the slack seasons so that we have to put up with that situation. Even in those seasons, as we find, there may not be lack of personnel, but the labor may be in a position to dictate terms. They may be demand and get increased wages at that particular period, whereas they may have to be satisfied with very low wages in other parts of the year. So, sir, I feel that it is not possible for the government to accept this resolution. Taking India as a whole, as I have stated, to meet this question of underemployment, we have provided in the 7th 5-year plan 40 crores of rupees for assisting in the settlement of landless agricultural workers and 50 crores of rupees are proposed to be spent by states for the resettlement of landless agricultural workers. The main lines of development in this regard are encouragement of cottage and small-scale industries, large increases in agricultural production including animal husbandry and horticulture. I may also state for the information of the House that the Ministry of Labor are conducting with the help of the National Sample Survey another agricultural labor inquiry to investigate into the scope of employment and living standards of agricultural laborers and this inquiry is expected to bring forth information on all aspects of the subject. The points raised by the mover form the subject matter of the inquiry that would be conducted. Sir, with regard to the questions raised by Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, they are larger questions and they are dealt with in the 7th 5-year plan itself. The government is taking necessary steps in the direction of consolidation of holdings and the latest position of the planning commission itself is that it would render aid in the matter of consolidation of holdings so that there may not be fragmentation. The greatest importance that has been attached to developments in cooperation is quite known to the honorable members.